Today we're going to talk about the Polo Recovery Tub and what exactly you get inside the box. Now there's a lot of benefits you get from ice bath, but we can go over that after we unbox this so you can see what you really get inside the box. First off, you get the tub itself. You'll get a valve piece to release all the water out. You'll get a card with instructions how to put the tub together that has some nice pictures on it that also explain how to set up the tub. You'll get the cover for the tub in a nice case right here it has a nice zipper. Tub cap inside. You'll get a temperature gauge, which is great for figuring out how much ice you actually have to put in the bath. And lastly, you'll get eight poles that go around the tub. So let's show you how to set it up now. First thing you'll need while setting up is the eight poles and the main tub itself. Let's take it out of the sleeve here. As you can see, it's already like in the tub shape, but you just need the poles here that are gonna go along the side to give it a little bit more form and shape. So as you can see, there's lots of different holes along the side where you're gonna be able to slide the poles in. So you wanna slide in the side that has more of a circular end and there's one flat end. The flat end will be the side that goes towards the base as it will lay flat on the ground. So you slide that pole in to between the black fabric and the inner base. And it should slide right up there. And you just keep doing that for all the way around until you run out of poles. So eight in total. Once you put the last leg in, it will still be a bit flimsy like this, but there is a a valve on the top to put air into it. It will come with a pump to fill up the air inside. If you have an electric pump, it'll be a lot easier to fill up, but the pump that I gave does work. You just have to manually do it. And then once you fill up it completely, it won't be bent over anymore, and you'll just close this valve here to make sure the air doesn't escape. It just needs to really inflate this ring around the top, as you can see here. And the side is just gonna stay up with the poles and the water inside it. If you look in the middle here, it has a cap here to let the water out. You have to shut that before you start putting water in. Then also around the side, it has a valve where you attach what you got in the other bag, where you connect down to the bottom here, and that is to release the tub water after you're done with your ice bath. And it also comes with another extension piece where you can plug into one of the sides, and that expands out. This allows you to attach this piece to the end. If you don't want the water just to go in the ground, you can attach this and extend this out and direct the water any way you want. So just make sure you have this closed before you start filling up the tank as well. And then you're all set to start filling it up. So this ice bath holds about 320 liters or 80 gallons of water. And it can get over 600 pounds in weight once it's fully filled with water. Now there are different methods of obviously getting it colder, which are filling it with ice. What other people like to do is actually fill water bottles with water and then fill them in their freezer or get lots of ice packs just to make it more economical so you can keep filling up the bath over and over again at a cheaper price. It also came with a free ice bag, which is really nice. So you can just fill it up with water with this cap right here and then put it in the freezer and you can keep using it over and over. Better for the environment and better for your pocket. So size wise, the tub goes about 31 inches this way and about 29 inches of height. So it's not that big of a tub. I'm 5'10". So I've seen people use it over six feet. I think if you're taller than about six, five, you're gonna obviously have a little more trouble fitting into this tub, but it just depends how much effort you wanna put into actually getting into it. Now that the water is completely full inside, it's time to add your ice. I have a couple bags of ice here, but again, you also can add different variation to it, whether that be ice packs from your freezer and such. And once you add the ice in, you're gonna to wanna to wait a couple minutes until the water cools down, obviously, to the desired temperature. So once you have your, all your ice in it that you want. Again, you can go to use the thermostat that they gave you. It actually also floats. Once you put the ice in there, just drop it in there. It will float, leave it in there for a couple minutes to get the accurate temperature, and then just pull it out and just keep checking on it until you get what temperature you want before you get in. So people suggest it being about 50 to 60 Fahrenheit, which I usually aim for, or that's 10 to 15 Celsius. Usually the goal is about 10 minutes in the ice tub, as that's gonna hit your optimal influence on your body. Some of the benefits are, that are known for the ice bath is boosting your immunity, but the big one for me is recovery after sports, as it's really good for your muscles. So usually after an intense day of beach volleyball, or pickleball or other intense sports. My muscles are very sore. I like to come here and relax and get a lot of good muscle recovery in the ice bath. So I definitely recommend it for that alone. So as you can see, once you're inside, you can fill up as high as you want. But if you come look, well, I'm 5'10", and I still have plenty of room from the water and to my feet to fully sit down inside of it. So I think if you're about 6'5", even you'll have plenty of room to sit inside of it as a single person. So I definitely recommend it just for that alone. So overall, I think it's a great single-use tub. It's not gonna fit much more than one person unless you're a bunch of kids going in here. I think the construction of it is really sturdy. I actually don't take it apart once I have it like this. As the poles stay in it, I just kind of just fold it all up 
I just deflate the top here and let the water out, of course, and then I can store it in my house or my shed. I haven't had any problems with it ripping, but it does come with patches if you do have any tears in it. But I think the material it's made of is very durable, which I really like, and very comfortable to sit in in general. So I highly recommend it if you're looking for a very portable ice bath for your house, and I definitely re recommend it, so go check it out.